Before we get into the video, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now, not to go on a tangent, after all, I do get that we live in a pretty crappy world right now, but some crimes just beg a belief. After all, how can someone stab another person, you call your mate, your friend, your pal, over 100 times, and then think a sorry asked apology is going to make everything forgiven, just because you pled guilty and saved the family the torment of having a trial? So, Chef, 20-year-old Lewis Ashdown is facing life in prison after he admitted stabbing his pal more than 100 times in a frenzied attack. If this is how he treats his mates, then think of the atrocities what he would do to his enemies. So, according to reports, 20-year-old Lewis Ashdown and the victim, 18-year-old Mark Williams, were on a night out near Oakfield, East Sussex, on May 29th of this year. We understand that the victim Mark Williams made a phone call to his family to tell them he was on his way home at roughly 11.30pm that evening, but he never returned home. Sadly, he was stabbed to death. The next day, both men were reported missing. However, it turned out what Lewis Ashton did was stab his mate again over 100 times and then he dumped his mate's body in the wooded area in the village of Fairwap. Sadly, the 18-year-old victim's body was discovered on June 1st. So it's no surprise that the police concluded Mark Williams died of multiple stab wounds. After all, he was treated like a pincushion. And today, Lewis Ashton pleaded guilty at Lewis Crown Court to murder and possession of an offensive weapon and has been remanded in custody for sentencing on September 24th. As for the reason or motive, Lewis subjected his mate to such a twisted, cruel and horrendous death that answer has not been given. After all, this guy is a psychotic maniac and a coward. It's been established the defence will say the murder was not pre-planned, but of course the intent had to be there. People don't just magically pull out a knife from thin air, nor do they stab someone 100 times, nor one time without there being a clear reason, however stupid or unbelievable. Imagine Mark Williams had no idea he would die that night. As far as he was concerned, he was on a night out with a person he classed as his friend, yet someone he trusted. Yet this psychotic Lewis Ashdown was probably salivating over the idea he was going to end his friend's life and he did not even see it coming and he did not know. Again, if you stab someone, 100 times, let alone once, you have to be some kind of perverse individual. That's the only way to describe them. Police also state that the attack and murder was sustained and violent. Now that's a understatement. I can't imagine the torture and torment this guy was subjected to. It's cases like these when life should actually mean life. All I can say is condolences to Mark Williams' family. Again, stay safe. Safe.